Calvin Jones, Park Tool Company, here at the 2019 North American Handmade Bike Show. This is a gathering and celebration of custom bike builders displaying their best work for the public and to one another. Park Tool attended as a manufacturer that supplies tools used in making these beauties. Also attending were some college students that may not end up as frame builders, but they certainly got some great hands-on experience from the entire process. We went to visit the University of Iowa and Cal Poly students. And we are with Connor. And Connor, what's your major? Uh, I just recently graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering. So, so this is your beauty. Tell absolutely. us about it. Yes, yeah, so this is my cruiser. Um, kind of the build brief on this was to get uh, as rad of a little shredder bike as I could at the lowest cost. Um, so I'm running a coaster brake on it, an old Bendix hub, red band. The red, the famous red the, band. The famous red band. Okay, so on up front, we went with the quills, the quill stem. Yep, yep. And then uh, 26ers. 26ers, yep, absolutely. Yep. And then platforms, and then you're, you've you got that foot down, and you're, you're sliding that corner. Absolutely, yeah, letting her get out and hang, hang out wild in the corners. And Pretty then fun. let's just finish here with these bars. Very nice. Thank you. All right, we're here with Sean. We're gonna go over this project. Uh, tell me a little bit about this project. What is this for your uh, program? Uh, every year we come together and have a bigger project. So this was our project this year. Uh, it's the downhill bike. The pedals were designed by someone. The bell was designed by someone. The stem, the bash guard, the brakes. And by doing that, it's kind of a good way for us to pass on our knowledge to newer members. Your upper linkage, it looks to be a bottom bracket. Is that true? Yeah, it is. It's a T47 bottom bracket, and the reason we did that is if you press a bearing into steel, and if you weld around that area, it'll distort, so you have to ream it afterwards. And that's kind of tricky to do because you have to put the whole frame into a machine that'll keep it rigid and at the right angle. So the bottom bracket's great because you can just uh, chase the threads afterwards and then put a bottom bracket in, and we just designed the pivot in there to be basically like a bottom bracket would be. Perfect. That's some great problem-solving thinking. There's a second beauty here, second fat tire bike we want to see, built by? Yas Bayan. And uh, what's your major? I'm an industrial engineer. So this really fit you well, building this thing? De definitely, because my specialization is in uh, design and manufacturing. Um, I wanted something that is more durable that I can ride year round, and especially in uh, ice and in the water or mud and everything. And um, the, the fat tire idea is, um, was a good choice. Mm -hmm. and kind of inspired from uh, the African Longhorn Bull. Greg, so you designed this bike. This is a pretty wild design. So what is your hopes with this? And then tell us a few little details that kind of stand out to you. Sure thing. So this is my like goal of just going wild and crazy with something I've dripped up. It's kind of like a gravel bike and also hopefully a commuter bike for someday. I put like a Gates uh, carbon belt drive on there and pinion gearbox so it'll be um, like very weatherproof and able to ride with no like no maintenance or anything like that. It's a beautiful bike. This is going to be a really cool bike for you to have for a long time. Callie Glidden and I graduated from the University of Iowa in May of 2018. So I picked a really wild mix between a gravel bike and a hybrid and a cyclocross bike. So I wanted something that was not super flashy but it was still very interesting and I really really like topography topo topographic maps yes. really intrigue me here my favorite part is actually up in front here let's see if we can get a good shot here it is a tree it's not just engineers who love this stuff we have Jake Lee and your major I am a master of fine arts student and we're gonna see some fine art here. Growing up, I had a bike uh, that had a similar paint job. It had the splatter on it. It was a stump jumper. I uh, had it in the early 90s. Um, so I had to base the paint job off of that. 
Did we crawl over the bike with, with your body painted in paint? No, I w I, maybe on my next build I'll do that. Okay. This, this is just painting inside of a cap and slinging it as hard as you can. Uh, Ernesto's going to walk us through the, this bike. It might be carrying another bike. Um, so this was a group project or was this one of your own projects? Kind of walk us through how this kind of bike came to fruition. Okay. So this was a group project, as we've mentioned, we're a student club, and in order to teach students the techniques and frame building, I led a team of 20 to 25 students going through the bike CAD, going through taking out dimensions, learning how to set up the mitering jig on a mill, mitering tubes, placing it in the frame jig, along with brazing and finishing on the frame. It, was there frustrations through the build? Was it just all fun and games? Was there a lot of uh, communication, kind of uh, pr practicing communication involved in this project? Yeah, so there was definitely, I mean, it was fun. It was great because the students had almost no knowledge on frame building and all of that. So being able to go through that process with them, I was very happy that they learned from it. And I learned more as I went through it, teaching them how to do it. And that's kind of what our club's all about, is helping each other and bikes in general. That's that for the 2019 North American Handbuilt Bike Show. We look forward to next year and would like to extend some thank yous to the students of Cal Poly and Iowa State for chatting with us about their experiences and future goals. We would also like to thank the North American Handbuilt Bike Show team for putting together a great event. And to everyone else watching, get out there and have fun with bikes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Tech Tuesdays, check out our Repair Health video library which has detailed guides to a wide variety of common bike maintenance procedures. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos from Park Tool.